What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Gubsington, and welcome to the Q&A. I feel like that needs a name. Inquiries and responses? Nah, oh, that's weird. I don't know. It's a little thing where you ask the questions, and I'm going to answer them. Or so I'm told. Here comes a little jingly thing. <gasps> Hi, buddy. Hi, you want to be in it? Somebody wanted to come and say hello. Yeah, didn't ya? Did you want to say hi? Look, look up there. Look up there, dude. Up there. Look, look up there. Also, if you could stick around to the end of the Q&A, I do have a little announcement just for the channel. Just a little tweak I want to start doing. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's read some questions. So the first question is, what genres of game are you expecting to play? So I've kind of already established a little thing with the whole indie game kind of deal. I do want to start getting into more horror, even though I'm absolutely fucking terrified of that. Like, I have this ability to really immerse myself into whatever I'm doing, and it gets really bad when I'm in horror, because I feel like I'm actually, like, something bad is going to happen, and so I get really scared. Fuck! But I do really want to start getting into more of, like, humorous games, stuff that'll make me laugh, like, anything that's kind of glitchy. I think would be fun. Anything that just has like a natural humor to it, I think would be a really good time. I mean, from what I have right now, I can only really play like free games. So it's kind of whatever I can find. I might end up playing some AAA games pretty soon. I do want to play some Fortnite. I've gotten some requests to do that. But yeah, I guess there's horror or something that makes me laugh because I love laughing. I'll pretty much laugh at whatever, or just anything kind of creative, I guess. Maybe you already do this, and I haven't noticed, but have you considered doing any YouTube live streams? So, I have talked about doing it. I really do want to start getting into streaming. I just, I'm not 100% certain if I can yet. I know I could put a computer screen on a stream, but I can't put my actual face to it, and I don't want to just put my voice. I used to do that on, on my older videos, and I didn't like it as much. I like actually putting my face onto it, and that's just me, that's my choice. So, I do plan on doing that, just not yet. Here's my question, when are you going to cut your hair? I'm not. I actually really want to grow my hair out again. I used to have hair that was below my shoulders. I'll probably pop up an image like here, or here, or here. And I really liked having it long, and I ended up cutting it because I donated pretty much all of it to, uh, I think it was Wigs for Kids and, and Locks for Love. And I kind of want to do that again, but I do want to have long hair for a certain amount of time, so I'm growing it out. And that's why you see me wear a lot of hats, too, in my videos. Just because like, I was going through this weird, awkward middle stage, and now it's kind of like, okay. Question, what does that sticker on the wall behind you mean? Well, this is what was sticking on the wall behind me before I ended up putting up the other sheet. And that's my man, OG. He's a DJ, he's a really, really good DJ. He's been putting out a lot of really cool mixes lately. I usually listen to them before I start recording to get myself pumped up. He has some really cool stuff. I'll put a link down in the description below if you wanna go check him out. He's just a huge supporter of mine and I'm also a huge supporter of his and he's really trying to make it as doing his own thing. So, there you go, buddy. What's your highest gaming accomplishment? getting over it that game was hell what's your advice for young gamers just if you like if you like playing games don't let anybody tell you that it's weird or you're like if you don't like being called a nerd then don't see it that way i guess it's easier said than done but like don't let your gaming experience let people judge you and ruin that for you there's a lot of awesome people out there that are huge gamers that play all sorts of different games. It doesn't matter what it is. I used to be a huge fan of World of Warcraft and I was afraid of talking about that when I was little because I thought everybody was going to think I'm some weirdo. And I really, really want to play that game again. <laughs> if you couldn't play video games on your channel, what would you do? I don't know, probably make the vlogs. That's kind of how I started off on, on YouTube. I have another channel that I made when I was in Australia for just vlogs for whoever wanted to watch. I wasn't really trying to make it big with that, but that's kind of how I got started with YouTube. But I'd probably try to make like a funny twist and not be a jackass like most of the other big vloggers. Rock fired! <laughs> do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. She's awesome. I love her very much. She's one of the biggest supporters of this channel. She's been there since the very beginning of this channel. Words can't describe just how awesome she is. She is seriously one of the best people I've ever met. Where did you get your YouTube name from? So my YouTube name is actually a spin off of my last name. It's kind of a, a just convoluted, somehow got to this point kind of story. Last name's Hubble, kind of like the telescope, but spelled a little different. And people back at college used to say, call me Hubs McGubb. And then McGubbs turned into just Gub, and then another friend of mine called me Gubsington. I was like, 
That could be a cool name. I ended up using it for my gamer tag for a long time. It still is my gamer tag. And I thought, I need a name for YouTube. I need something that's unique, something that nobody's really thought of before. And I searched it and nobody's thought of it yet. And so here we are. How old are you? I am about to be 23 in a couple weeks. In fact, I think less than that. So I'm feeling 22. I'm not gonna do that again. What's your favorite animal? The little guy I put in the beginning of the video. Hey, he's so cute. But if I had something like actual, I'd, I'd, I'd probably be a koala. I've held a koala before, which was awesome. I've seen wild koalas like staring at me and I was like, oh, you guys are so cute. But I heard they're really difficult to take care of if you have them as a pet. So I probably wouldn't want one, but I would probably pick a koala. I know it's pretty lame, but I'd just like to say that I enjoy how much effort you put into your videos and was just wondering what, what may have inspired you to make them and post them on YouTube. First of all, that's not lame. It's so sweet. Thank you so much for saying that. It really makes me feel like somebody cares to watch. Not that nobody does, but that like I'm actually doing something right with the channel and somebody thinks that my content is great. That's just a sign that, you know, maybe I should keep doing this. Even though I want to keep doing this, I don't know, I'm starting to make excuses now. And kind of what inspired me to post them on YouTube is it's kind of a long history. Back when I was like early high school, which is like what, eight years ago now? Something like that. I'm getting old. Someone's gonna yell at me for saying that. I used to watch somebody named and he was the first one that I would really avidly watch who was a Let's Player. I wasn't really into watching YouTube all that much prior to that, but he was so entertaining at the time and I just loved watching some of his videos and made me laugh and I was like, I wanna do that. But I never really got up the courage or found the money or anything or the determination to actually try to do it. And now here I am. And of course I know about the scandals with him and everything, so, and that was well before that happened. So please don't put that on me. Posting them on YouTube, I mean, it's kind of just the medium that I, I have to work with at the moment. I will start streaming on Twitch eventually, like I said earlier in the video. I don't really know how to stream properly yet, but I'll work on rectifying that. Also, when I was making those videos when I was in Australia, I had like a blast making those. I thought it was so much fun. <coughs> really? I would just get like engrossed in making those videos. Like the, the Sydney video I posted in one of my other vlogs. That was so much fun to make. And now that I have software where I can actually do some stuff with the video gaming stuff, parts of the videos, I can actually start making some effects that would be really cool and a lot of fun. And hopefully pretty funny. So that's gonna end the Q&A. Thank you to all those that submitted questions for me to answer. I thought this was a lot of fun. I really wanna do something like this again eventually. I like making these kinds of videos. I think it's a good time. So the announcement for the channel is I will be start posting only one video a day instead of just a double upload. I feel like I need to just start slowing down a little bit on the uploads. One, so I can start like actually putting time into a certain video to make that one video better. Also two, I've been kind of struggling with some mental health issues lately and it just take a lot of stress off the brain parts from the double upload because it's hard to try to upload a, more than one video at a specific time every single day. And that's nothing to do with the mental health parts, nothing to do with the channel. I love doing this, it's a lot of fun. It's just other personal problems that I've been having lately. It would just be a lot easier for me and I can also make some better videos from it. So that's gonna end today's video. Huge thank you to all of you watching and that continue to watch. If you're feeling charitable, chill, if you're feeling charitable, charitable, fuck. If you are fearing charitable today, go check out those links down in the description below and donate. I love you all very much and we'll see you in the next one.